On the last one, we built this submarine. And on this one, we're going to play with it. Just not yet. My thanks again to the folks at Different Tales for the keyword years to play today. That didn't really come out in particularly, uh, I don't know, good English or anything. My bad. I didn't mean click yes that I had it. I was just habitually clicking. What can I say? Let me go grab some stuff because at this point, I kind of do want a few more people. We have kind of maxed out everything we can do insofar as assigning people to do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> I mean, literally, there's only one person left who can be assigned anything, and that's the guy who makes boats. I'm kind of inclined to just let him do his own thing and not worry about it. So there is one more worker, which I am glad to see. You'll notice we have moved some things around and we've added a second water tank because I don't know, why not? These are now set up so that this second pump pumps water into the distiller, which then pumps water into the water tank, which is fantastic. No more needing people to move around and do stuff and things and all of that. And it's just, ah, uh, it's so good. It is really, really good. I'm, I'm so glad that we have the tiniest amount of automation. The birdhouses, we only have two over here because the rest have been moved to the corner over here. And we also have a second parrot house, which I believe we built right at the end of the last one. So here, let's go ahead and reset our traps, which I'm still not sure why I keep resetting these things. I guess at some point bones and other things will will be important or something. Uh, let's water that. That needs to be watered. That Oh gosh, all of these need to be watered. It needs to rain or something because look at this. Everything is just bone dry. Nothing's going to grow if there's no water in here, which that was kind of one of the thoughts I had is that if we have more water around, then here, are you guys watered? You're watered. Actually, you're not even doing anything. So here, let's just harvest you while we're here and harvest you while we're here too. Good, perfect, done. Thought I'd had was, you know, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more water just because we have more people, but then we're also adding farms. So farms need water and then various food and drink and things need water and all that jazz. So here, let's take all those uh, things that I made because I made a few things. I guess we don't really need any more any more ice for the time being. Added a second scuba station over here. No one is assigned to it. So now let us assign our newest member, Bocephorus. You are now assigned to that. So do your thing. Then we have another smelter over here because we've got that guy. We've got this guy and now we've got that guy. And we could probably store some of these things over there and that's just fine. Oh my gosh, we need so many more farms and things because we're just not at a point right now where we can really automate any of this. We don't have enough of those guys. And it doesn't look like we can even assign a person to that. Someone has to do that. And then this over here, I mean, I guess we got the hay, so that's good. That's a thing. We should be getting close to getting one egg out of the chicken coop, but we're not quite there yet. So we'll go ahead and research this guy now. This is going to let us build another chicken coop in addition to the one that we claimed very early on. Let's go see what we got going over here, and then I think we're probably going to go hit that submarine. It's a wizard. Um, I mean, you look like a wizard. Oh my god, land! I thought I'd never... Sur is this land? I guess it is. There's a little piece of land under here. Can I please come on board your settlement? Yes. Boy, I am in need of water from your distiller. Um, I mean, whatever... You get the water from wherever, buddy. I'm not really all that concerned about it. Let us click on this thing. Enter the submarine. Yes. Oh, look at this. We can walk around and do stuff. Um, okay. Well, let's mine some minerals. That's interesting. The minerals are something that we've been seeing in the very recent episodes where we just, we don't have minerals. And yet all of the research that we did for the submarine indicated that we are going to need minerals to do pretty much anything else. So, uh, I guess, let me just hang out here for a while so we can get a bunch of minerals. We're going to call 40 minerals enough for now because we could technically assign someone to this. Look at this, we can change the color. Oh, uh, we don't have plankton. Does it cost different things? It sure does. Look at that. That's fantastic. Well, let's just go ahead and ride. Ooh, wait a minute. 
we get to drive this thing around? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is excellent. I was wondering how that would work. Well then, crap, let's go over here. Uh, shark. I wonder if the shark will eat us. There's one way to find out. Um, here, if we pop out right here... Oh. No, it just it forces us to go over here. Okay. Um, so we can basically build some things here. Produces raw minerals. Interesting. A turbine. Oh my gosh, there's all these things down here. I don't even know where to begin with this. Power storage. Oh man, refinery. Look at that. How do we build all this crap? I gotta spend some time playing with this. Oh, this is good stuff. Okay, so I guess the first thing we need to do is build a turbine. I guess. I don't even know. Um, where do we... Where do we build this thing? I guess it doesn't matter for the moment. I am slightly concerned about running out of minerals. That seems like that might be a thing. So that's going to produce some power. And I guess we could do some storage there. I don't even know. So we can refine ores or build an assortment of items at the refinery. I mean, the mega drill, it seems like we need... Here, let's do a mini drill. This is going to... I guess uh, we do that. And you're just going to make your own resources. What are you doing? You're, you're taking out raw minerals. And we need a refinery to turn those into something else. So we'll put that right next to it. I'm kind of looking to see if we can do anything where... Ah, look at that. We can do minerals. Oh, we can do bronze. We don't have bronze yet. We don't have basically any of these things. Oh, but we can make circuit boards. Fascinating. Yes, I am. I am all aboard this. Actually, there's a lot of things I want out of here. We can turn seaweed into rope. That's interesting. We need the hooks because that'll allow us to do some upgrades in other places. Oh my gosh, we need so many different things here. Like, I don't even know where to begin with this. That's using two power a second, and one turbine is not enough power to generate enough. <laughs> it doesn't generate enough power to keep the mini drill running. So I guess we'll do that. Let's let's just take these guys out here, and we'll put these into the refinery, and we'll just do minerals for now, and let that run. That's going to use two power, which means it's never going to run because we need a bunch of turbines. So here, let's do four turbines. That's enough power now for everything. And then uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and go back up to the surface because... Oh my gosh, I think I can spend a lot of time playing with the underwater stuff. Uh, we don't have any cooked vegetables. Um, I'm just going to ignore you and not answer because it seems like when I say no, they leave. And I don't like that. Don't leave. It's not nice. Alright, we got some stuff out of that. Let's go see if we have any eggs. We should have at least one. I don't know that we'll have two, but we'll see. Look at that. One egg, two egg. Build an incubator. It hatches eggs into chicks. Okay. So an incubator would be one of these things. Uh, I guess, can we build the incubator right there? I was originally going to build something else here, but I like that instead. So we'll go ahead and put an egg in there. You know what? Let's, uh, no, let's put one egg in there because we don't have room for more. Uh, there you go. We'll do that. And then I think this guy, we don't have enough hay to upgrade that. So... That's going to be a whole thing. We'll not worry about that for the time being. So if we want to get this person to come aboard, we need some vegetables, which means we need all this stuff over here. You know what might be a good idea? Is putting a pump. Maybe what we'll do is we'll move one of the pumps over here. I don't know. I'm just thinking like, so we can water all of this stuff would be good. Just to kind of keep it really growing nice and quickly. That's going to be a problem that I keep taking all of the vegetables from everything. But hey, you know what? It just it is what it is because we're getting random resources that we may or may not need. You know, I've been playing this game for a while now. And I got to say, there's a lot of stuff you can do. And the progression of it is just... The timing-wise, it's pretty good. It really is. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the whole igloo thing. Um, sure, put the igloo right there. Do we not have enough to make what we need? Igloo. Alright, um... 
Hmm, what do we want to produce? I don't know what we want to produce. Goodness gracious, I don't know what to produce. I guess we could do the golden fish. And can we... We don't have a penguin. <laughs> so do we need to, like, hook this penguin up with more more things and then it'll come work for us? All right, well, that's going to be a problem for another time because I don't, I don't think I can do anything about that right now. So we need to get a couple of chicks. So I guess we should go back and do whatever that involved. So we can do some research here. We don't have enough of those minerals. So we can go grab 20 of those in a little while here. And that's going to allow us to build more beacons, mega drills, and more mini drills. And then over here, we can do beacons that produce knowledge. They can use to research passive bonuses. That sounds really good. Super feed sounds pretty good too, actually. Mini drills drill plus 10 more minerals before deactivating and drill 5% faster. That actually sounds like a really good one because it's gonna be a hot minute before we are ready to do the large drills. We could do smart homes. I mean, I think our happiness is actually in a pretty good spot right now. So none of that stuff we can really research at the moment. Here, let's go back to this guy. I think we were making chicken feed. So we're gonna grab some of those and we'll do the super chicken feed, I think is probably what we're gonna do here. How are you doing over here? We'll go ahead and just incubate another one. It'll be fine. And then here, we'll go ahead and do that for more eggs. We still don't have the hay we need, which, hey, you know, it is what it is. We should be at about the point where we're going to get a couple of chicks here, but not mistaken, there's one. So we'll go ahead and take that guy. And I guess we can, can we add you? I don't know what to do with you. When placed in a coop, okay. Um, I mean, I guess I cannot insert you because you don't count as a chicken. I'm not sure how that works. We do have enough hay to increase the coop size. So now this will be able to handle two chickens, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little confused about that. I mean, literally chicken coop. I guess we cannot add small partial chickens. Uh, I mean, they're not really partial, but you know what I mean. Mini chickens, we can't add them. We do have some cooking oil now from the mill. Um, what do we need? We have, oh, we have one oil extract. Oh, so then we probably need to make oil would be my guess. All right, well, here, let's take all these guys. Can we make cooking oil so we can do a bunch of crap and that'll get us cooking oil. So here, all the things. We don't have any dextrin though. Uh, goodness. Well, here, before you do that, we need to make dextrin. So what do we do with that? Here, let's do um, one, two, here, we need to do three of these guys. So make three dextrin, and then we'll go ahead and make some cooking oil, which we'll use to upgrade our stuff. Oh, settlers can be equipped with stuff. I think we've kind of looked at that, but I just haven't bothered to deal with that. Um, we don't really have any equipment. Apparently a chick counts as equipment. I'm I'm confused about that one, but okay. Let's go over to our rock right quick. We're gonna upgrade this one more time. Oh no, we can't. I'm my bad. I thought we could dump more alcohol into it. Never mind. Well, anyway, that was a nice thought, but apparently a useless one. Excellent. Excellent. Here, let's go ahead and just extract more of these things because it seems like people aren't really loading. Well, I guess that is loaded up, isn't it? Ah, boy. We don't really have anywhere to store the glass, and the glass just gets used over at the bar, so it kind of is what it is. Bye-bye, blacksmith. Bye-bye, blacksmith. You know, one of the things I was kind of worried about with this game, and I see it in bits and pieces, is just how much time it takes to do things. Now, part of that, the majority of it, I think, honestly, is just about having a better setup. Like, I just kind of have stuff spread way out, and if we had more people doing things, it really wouldn't be that big of an issue, I don't think. I mean, for the most part, I haven't really had too much trouble getting stuff done. There has been a small element of it where I've been like, uh, you know, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. This guy's depleted, so... I guess we just have to trash it and then build a new one? 
I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm understanding here. Oh, goodness. We really do need to do that one. So here, we'll go ahead and mine a little more of this. I want to get a person assigned to this. But we'll do that uh, in a minute because the person that we're going to bring on board with the cooked vegetables is going to be the one who's going to be down here working. <laughs> little do they know. All right, person who wants some cooked vegetables, come aboard. And then I'm going to go down here so that I can assign this new person. Or, I think, new person? I don't know. I'm so confused because I thought a bunch of people were all assigned things and then I find... Oh no, Bob is the sailor guy who's going to make a boat. And uh, Pickle Rick over here. I kind of wanted to save him for something else, so... Whatever, I'm not sure. It's fine. It's fine. Not, not all that concerned about it. Let's go see if our second chick is done, because that's going to kind of give us something to do, I'm sure, or some uh, tutorial thing to do. I mean, I still don't know what to do with this chick, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. Uh, build a second chicken coop. Set it to grow chickens. Oh, I get it. Okay, duh. Well, I mean, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Got it now. Now it's so obvious, duh, of course, because that makes sort of perfect sense, I guess. I don't know. We don't have five hay, so that's just going to take a minute. So we're going to build a chicken coop over here, and I think what we might end up doing is moving the other chicken coop over here as well, and then move the cooking station that is making the chicken feed over there as well. For the time being, let's go back to this. Oh, we got five out of that. I didn't really want five, but I'm sure we'll need five in the future, so it's fine. There you go. Here, let's just make a bunch of these. Someone's going to make some cooking oil eventually. And here, I, th I really do think I want to move this guy. So let's uh, let's move this one over to put this one over here. And we're just going to turn it that direction for no particular reason. That is fine. Oh, hi. I wanted that one of the fish. Thanks for that. And we're going to go grab our other chicken coop over here. And we'll place that one right there. Now I'm gonna stop and grab a couple of boxes that are swimming by, so to speak. Look at that, got a bunch of them, got three of them right there. That was excellent. Okay, so we have two coops. Now one of them is the big one. That's the big one that we found early on. So we're going to choose this because that's going to allow us to input chicken feed which is going to allow us to grow some chickens. So there you go, two chickens there. And then this guy, uh, we should do some more chicken food here. Actually, I should see, we, I was just researching the super chicken feed. I guess maybe it just straight up made chicken feed better in general. I'm not sure. It was supposed to decrease the time it takes for chickens to grow, or chicks rather, to grow to be full chickens. Oh, someone broke a leg. I think we still have some medicine for them. Oh no. I think we might be down to our final medicine. We don't have anyone assigned to this one because I just never bothered. Okay, we'll just make one and leave that over there for now. And just now looking at this going, well, duh, this probably really should be moved. Oh man, all this stuff should be moved. We don't have a lot of space over here, but we do have some. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll move some of the cooking stations and things over to here. Because all these people just keep walking so, so far to just try and, you know, make stuff. Which that's part of the issue. Again, you know, I was kind of talking about how much time it takes to do things. Part of that is just because we're not doing things in a way that makes a lot of sense. People have to walk too far to deliver things, so... It also makes me wonder if we can get backpacks or something for them. Just, you know, so they don't have to spend so much time running back and forth for individual things. Uh, give me a second and I will have 20 water. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, clicky, clicky, clicky. Here, let's take a few out of there, too. Buddy, you want water? There you go. Come on board. You, you have work to do as soon as you come over here, I'm pretty sure. Is this guy 
I guess you're just broken, broken leg down there and you're just going to keep working. Okay. I mean, I specifically made a point of trying to, you know, the uh, maybe possibly get some stuff for you to, to not be so broken, but whatever. Let's go and move the bar over here. This isn't necessarily the one that people are always going to. This guy's like, dude, what, what, what are you doing, dude? I just, yeah, I know. You'll be fine, trust me. Here we have three cooking oils now, so we can go ahead and we'll upgrade that one. We'll definitely upgrade this one. And we're going to upgrade this one over here as well. That will be all of our cooking stations. We probably need a bunch more of these, really. I mean, that would be my guess. But I just, I don't really have, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that just yet. We're going to use some of those raw minerals that we found to research knowledge. That seems to be a good idea to me. And we should probably go jump back down into the water right quick just to see if there's anything going on down there. We don't have another raft yet. I'm trying to pay more attention to that. I'm not doing a good job of it, but I am trying. Okay, let's go ahead and drop down into the water and see what we have. We have a full 50 minerals just waiting for us. And this guy is probably destroyed, so we'll just do that. And I guess what we really should do is make... Um, well, we're only going to do one for now because part of the problem here is we also need a settler to operate this one. So let's assign second Pickle Rick, who is not anything in particular. He's just like a whatever guy. And we're going to build... I know that's not a very nice thing to say. He's just not a wizard. How about that, okay? He's not a wizard, Harry. We're going to assign these various resources that we're getting down here. If only I can find them. So I will instead be smart about it. And I will type into this because then I don't have to try to figure it out. Beacons. We can make a beacon. Allows you to research higher tier upgrades. Produces knowledge every 10 seconds. And can be upgraded to be stronger. Consumes a lot of power. So the thing we're going to have right now is power is going to be an issue. Now, technically, these guys, I think you're using two, you're using two. So we're not really getting anything out of any of this. We do have enough that we can build some power storage, but I kind of don't know if it's worth even bothering with right now. I just, I don't know. I'd really like to do the mega drill. So let's do the mega drill instead. Oh, that is, you're not joking when you say it's a mega drill. Um, doesn't really matter. We'll just place you right there. So you can do copper ore and you can do coal. That's fascinating. Let's do copper ore because that is going to be something that we need, I believe. And we'll do a second refinery. So what is this guy taking for power? A crap ton. It's taking all the power. I mean, I don't know how we're, we're operating here. Uh, we need to research the turbine upgrade. I mean, these guys are sort of not doing anything. Here, can we... Uh, this guy... Uh, I keep clicking on the submarine, and I don't mean to do that. Let's make some bronze. And we don't have any bronze yet, so here, we'll take some bronze. We got all these things running, and we don't have power, so I guess we really do need to... Possibly. Potentially. Oh yeah, we need more minerals here. Let me... Let me mine that myself for one mineral. Excellent, we'll stop, and then we'll go ahead and make another turbine here. There you go. You guys will be fine. Eventually, these things will stop running, and then that'll run, and it'll be okay. But this, man, I've been wanting the bronze here. Can I operate you to make you go faster? There we go. We'll take the bronze out. That's going to allow that guy to run again, I think. Oh, we're starting to get pollution now with these. Interesting. So that's going to be 1.2 per second pollution there. That might be a problem. So we're going to need some filtration devices, I think. I mean, I guess for right now, since we don't have the proper power system, because the pollution drops automatically, we'll be okay. Oh yeah, you come on board, buddy, because uh, we're going to need more people working underwater, I suspect. 
Let's go see if we can do anything over here right quick for turbine and maybe even uh, other things. Mini drills, uh, that one would be great. Fast settlers. Uh, yes, actually that sounds fantastic. We need to make some beacons. That's going to be... That's going to be uh, what I want, I think. We need some beacons. Oh, and then we can finally get aquaculture so we can build... Oh, goodness, we need a bunch of beacons. Okay. Beacons are definitely the next thing we're going to need to do. Because this is going to allow us to do seaweed. Seaweed will then allow us to make rope. We can then make some hooks and all sorts of other things. So, yeah, it's just there's going to be a whole lot of stuff left to go, which is cool. I mean, I like this. This is great. We're getting a lot of things to play with. I'm really enjoying that there's just a wide variety of stuff. I mean, some of it's a little obtuse to me, but that's probably because I'm just obtuse in general. So whatever. I can't fault the game too much on that. I mean, it seems like things are more or less making sense when I give them enough time. It's like, oh, well, duh. Obviously, you need X, Y, Z. So, you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. For the time being, I'm going to water all these things that I can water over here because I'm carrying a bunch of extra water from when we were inviting a dude on board. So here, we'll do that. We'll give you some water, give you some water, and then you can have some water too. And I think we have, oh, I didn't water that one, my bad. Whatever. I have more or less to water the things. I'm gonna move the mills over to here because they really should be over here. That would make all the sense in the world to have them somewhere over here. So we'll probably put the mills uh, we've run out of water, haven't we? Dang it. We'll put the mills over here just because that'll save everyone a lot of time when they're trying to process things. And then I will try to figure out what other things I need to move and if I need to make any more medicine because apparently there's people with broken legs. We'll catch up on the next one when we probably make some beacons too because man, there are like a bajillion things to look forward to with beacons alone. Catch you that one, Tom. Thanks for watching. See you later.